Okay, scholars, now we're going to take a look at one of these dreaded word problems that we've been doing so much lately. All right, and we're going to go very slowly, break this problem into small parts. It's not going to be hard. Here we go. If you can solve a puzzle in two hours, and your friend can solve the puzzle in four hours, how long would it take you both to solve it if you were working together? All right, so here's the key idea that you have to understand first. All right, so your speed of solving the puzzle adds up with your friend's speed and both of these speeds combine okay they combine to make the total speed at which you guys can solve the puzzle alright so once you have this expression that we have here then the problem just comes down to writing an expression for this, writing an expression for this, and an expression for this. And then we can just solve it. Alright, so let's find an expression for your speed. Alright, how are we measuring the speed here? Okay, we're measuring it in the amount of the thing we do, which in this case is puzzles. So amount of the puzzle solved divided by the time that it takes to do that. Time that it takes to solve that amount. Okay. All right, so your speed will be one puzzle in two hours. Okay, so you have a speed of one half puzzles per hour. All right, now what's your friend's speed? Your friend's speed is one puzzle every four hours. Okay, and then the total speed this is where the variable comes into play because together you're going to solve one puzzle but you don't know how long it's going to take so if we write an expression for the total speed where it comes uh, for the time we're just going to call that x okay? because we don't know how many hours it's going to take alright so again we've just written an expression for your speed your friend's speed and then the total speed if you guys are working together alright now we just have a rational equation and we're going to solve it for x. So I'll rewrite that down here so it's a little bit easier to work with. And here we go. Now, you guys as teachers may have taught you some different ways to do this. For example, you can combine the fractions on the left-hand side and then cross multiply. That's totally fine. But what I like to do is just multiply every term in the equation by the lowest common denominator because it clears the fractions really quickly and then I don't have to worry about adding fractions. So here I look at the denominators and I see that the smallest quantity that all of 2, 4, and x can go into will be 4x. All right? and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply each numerator by 4x. So let's see what happens. All right, 4x times here, 4x, and 4x. Now the whole point of doing this is that now we have a common factor of 2 on the numerator and denominator. So 2 goes into 4 two times. And what I'm left with on the numerator here is 2 times x. So I'm just going to write that over here. All right, now plus, so plus. And in the next fraction, I have a common factor of 4. So I can cancel those out, and I'm left with just x. On the right-hand side, what gets canceled out? Well, the x's. And I'm left with just 4 times 1, or 4. Alright, so now I have a really simple linear equation that I can solve. Okay, so just x, no x squared, no anything. So we have 2x plus x gives us 3x equals 4, which means that x is equal to 4 over 3. Alright, well, what, what quantity is this? Okay, so we're dealing with time. So this means that working together with our friend, it takes us four-thirds hours. Well, that's kind of a weird quantity. So, three goes into four one time, and then you have one left over. So this is equivalent to one and one-third hours, a.k.a. one hour and 20 minutes.